A lot of the victims nowadays, 14, 15, 16 years of age, that's gruesome. They haven't even begun to experience life yet at that age. Um, so that's a challenge. Sometimes I got to situations where I was literally called the mediated situations, but I get there and people still got their guns drawn. I just let it be known, like, how you expect me to do the job? Like, I'm uncomfortable. Like, you got guns drawn right here. Like, can we put those away? Can we put those up? We want to be able to find an end result without somebody getting hurt, without somebody losing their life, and without somebody going to prison. Gun violence is gun violence is gun violence. We should be able to feel safe where we live, not because the community is changing, but because we change the That's community. Right. The 4th of July night, right, and it was like three or four different gangs, at least 80 people, right, and we got word that this was happening. So when we went to the area, we was able to mediate the conflict between the, the four different groups that was out there. The police was out there, the police stood back and let us do what we do, and everybody departed without a problem. See, we be out here, we're the foot soldiers. We're the ones that come out here late at night, look for the outrist youth that's out here selling drugs, gambling, doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing. That's what we call high risk. So we look out there, we detect them. But we try to, we talk to them, and we become their friend. And once we become their friend, they're willing to come talk to us about certain things that's going on. If they have a problem, yo, we got a problem with this one across the street. Can you come, you know, talk to them? We'll go talk to them, we try to mediate the conflict so we can get overboard and blow out until they start shooting and killing each other. We could take a former gang member and bring him into the fold and he become a staff member. Now he's mediating conflicts.